Hello, this is CHN 201 Workshop Lecture 3, which is on transport properties. I'm Dr. Andrew Tehemi Kiowa, a lecturer of physical chemistry in the Department of Chemistry, Benue State University, Makadi, Nigeria. This lecture is meant for my second year chemistry students here at the Benue State University, as well as other students worldwide who are interested in the questions I tackle on this channel and the videos I produce. If you have any comments or any questions, you can send them, them to me through my university email address or my Google email address. Alternatively, you can leave comments and questions in the comment section of the video on YouTube and I'll do my best to respond. Today's lecture is about calculating coefficient of diffusion, thermal conductivity and viscosity of a gas, which are all transport related properties. So after the lecture, I expect you to be able to calculate the coefficient of diffusion, thermal conductivity and viscosity of a gas. The question says, estimate the coefficient of diffusion, thermal conductivity and viscosity of argon are 303.15 Kelvin and 180 m, given that the molar mass of argon is 40 gram per mole, the collision cross-section of argon is 3.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 meter squared, and the molar heat capacity of argon is 20.8 uh, 20 uh, zero joule per mole per Kelvin. Our strategy is very simple. We will substitute the given quantities as well as the necessary constants into the formulae for calculating uh, the coefficient of diffusion, thermal conductivity and viscosity of the gas. Then we are going to use our calculators to evaluate the resultant expressions to obtain the values of the uh, coefficients. So for coefficient of diffusion, D, um, it's equal to 1 all over 3 times um, mean free path times the mean speed, where the mean speed is um, the square root of 8 times the gas constant times temperature divided by pi times the molar mass of the gas. For mean free path, uh, which is lambda, we have Kb, which is the post mass constant times temperature divided by the collision cross section times the pressure times root two. The values for these uh, parameters are, for gas constant, this is what we have. Uh, for temperature, this is it. For pi, this is it, and the collision cross-section has 3.9 times 10 to the power of negative 19 meter squared. The molar mass um, is 40 gram per mole, which we can convert to uh, 40 times 10 to the power of negative 3 kilogram per mole. That's the SI unit. The pressure is in ATM, 1 ATM, uh, which is equal to 101, 325, Newton per meter squared, which is also the SI unit for pressure. The post mass constant um, uh, Kb is 1.38, uh, 1 times 10 to the power of negative 23 joule Kelvin, per Kelvin. So when we substitute the necessary parameters um, into this expression, uh, this formula, we obtain this which we can evaluate to uh, 401 meters per second as the mean speed. Then for the mean free path, we substitute the post mass constant, temperature, collision cross section, and then the pressure. We obtain this expression, which evaluates to 7.49 times 10 to the power of negative 9 meter. When we substitute the mean free path 
and the mean speed, we obtain this expression. And this expression evaluates to 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 5 meters squared per second as the diffusion coefficient. For thermal conductivity, coefficient of thermal conductivity kappa is equal to the mean speed times the molar heat capacity divided by the collision cross-section times the Avogadro's constant times 3 times root 2, where the mean speed is this, the molar heat capacity is this, the collision cross-section is that, and then the Avogadro's constant is this. We substitute all of those into this formula. Uh, this is the mean uh, speed, uh, the molar heat capacity, collision cross-section, Avogadro's constant, and this is 3, which is already there, times 2. That expression evaluates to 8.371 times 10 to the power of negative 3 joule per meter per Kelvin per second which is approximately uh, 8.4 uh, times 10 to the power of negative 3 watts per meter per Kelvin. Watts is the product of joule and um, second per second. Uh, joule per second gives watts. That's why we have this. For coefficient of viscosity, we have the mass of the gas times the mean speed divided by 3 times root 2 times the collision cross-section. And the mean speed is this, the collision cross-section is this, and then the mass is smaller mass divided by the Avogadro's constant, which is smaller mass in SI unit, kilogram per mole, divided by the Avogadro's constant, um, 6 not to 2 times 10 to the power of 23 per mole. That evaluates to 6.642 times 10 to the power of negative 23 kg. When we substitute all of these uh, parameters into this formula, we obtain this expression. This expression evaluates to 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 3 kg per meter per second. So here is the self-test question to check if you actually understood the workshop. It says estimate the, molar, uh, estimate the molecular diameter of CO2 at 20 degrees C given that at uh, this temperature, its coefficient of viscosity is 1.48 times 10 to the power of negative 5 pascal second. The answer is approximately 3.73 angstrom. The next question says, calculate the thermal conductivity of nitrogen, um, which has the collision cross-section of 0.43 nanometer squared and molar heat capacity of 20.8 uh, joule per Kelvin per mole and this is at 25 degree C. Yeah, the answer is 8.6 milliwatts per meter per Kelvin. If you enjoy this video, I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, ring the bell so that you get notified when new videos are uploaded, like, comment and share. Thanks for watching. The link to the PDF version of this lecture is in the video description. If you have any comments or any questions, you can leave them in the comment section of the video. Alternatively, you can send them to me using my university email address or my Google email address. Bye now.